Day in, day out, firefighters all over the world risk their lives to save and protect others. Their work is never routine. Every job and run is different. Having the very best protective equipment, therefore, is vital. Dreger has risen to this challenge. With its years of experience and extensive expertise, Dreger sets new standards in occupational safety and health in extreme situations. The helmets HPS 6200 and HPS 4300 are developed and produced in-house. The latest technologies and constant quality inspections are the cornerstones of the Träger helmet production. The new generation of firefighting helmets by Träger offers maximum safety. Numerous technical improvements were realized for this product range and meticulously tested by the in-house Träger lab. We have two test laboratories. One is in the development department where testing, including preliminary testing, takes place alongside development. The test lab in the production department is used for quality assurance to ensure constant standards of quality are maintained. The impact and shock absorption test ascertains what amount of force is applied to the body of a firefighter when hit by a heavy object. This test is simulated with a 5 kilogram iron ball impacting the helmet from a height of 2.5 meters. This is done five times at different test points. In order to provide optimum protection for the wearer, the remaining force on head and neck must be less than 15,000 newtons. The Dreger helmet passes this test with flying colors and yields values significantly below the required standard value. Next, the secure fit on the wearer's head is tested. This involves subjecting the helmet to two different tests. During the so-called pull-off test, a 10 kilogram weight pulls with full force on the helmet to test the effectiveness of the carrying and retention system. The result, the helmet is not stripped off the head. Next, the strength of the chin strap is put to the test. The strap is pulled tighter and tighter using a small motor until it is exposed to a force of 250 newtons without snapping. The helmet effortlessly passes this tear test. For the firefighter's safety, the strap opens when subjected to a force of more than 750 newtons to avoid the risk of strangulation. In order to provide firefighters with an optimal level of protection, the helmet must retain its form and protective property even in extreme situations. To verify this, the next test involves examining the stability of the helmet in transverse and longitudinal direction when subjected to heat. The load is gradually increased until a force of 65 kilograms is applied to the helmet. The resulting deformation of approximately 2.5 centimeters is visible to naked eyes but is also significantly less than the required value and wouldn't represent any danger to the wearer in an emergency. This is especially important when wearing a helmet mask combination to prevent possible leakages of the mask due to high lateral deformation. For this test, a current of 1200 volts is directed into the water and the current in the inside of the helmet is then measured. The new standard for firefighter helmets EN443 specifies a maximum value of 1.2 milliamperes. The Träger helmet yields a very minor 0.5 milliamperes with the needle barely moving. The highest level of safety from dangerous sources of electrical current or electric shocks during runs. The so-called bullet impact test determines the resistance of the visor to particles flying at the visor at high speeds as they occur when cutting metal or during chainsaw work. After the corresponding conditioning of the helmet and visor at high and low temperatures, including exposure to thermal radiation, the visor is shot at with a 6 mm thick steel ball at 120 meters per second. The heavy impact of the ball is clearly visible and noticeable. The Dreger HPS 6200 phase visor is made from polysulfone, a tough polymer known for its high thermal stability. 
The visor shows only a small dent from the impact and would have provided superb protection for the eyes and the face of the wearer in case of an emergency. For the penetration test, the helmet is first subjected to a steady flow of thermal radiation of 14 kilowatts per square meter for 8 minutes, which corresponds to a temperature of approximately 250 degrees Celsius applied to the surface of the helmet. The helmet did indeed show signs of extreme wear and tear, but then the actual test. A sharp pointed object with a weight of one kilogram is dropped onto the helmet from a height of two meters. The extremely heat-resistant duroplast material is here essential for survival. Only the upper layer of the Draeger HBS 6200 is damaged. The head of the wearer would have been optimally protected in case of an emergency. By way of comparison, a helmet of the older generation made from thermoplastic materials subjected to the same test is virtually destroyed. The blade easily cuts through the material, causing serious injury to the wearer. The flame engulfment test is another endurance test of the new firefighter helmet standard EN443. The first step of the flame test consists of heating a dummy equipped with firefighter jacket, full face mask and firefighter helmet including accessories in an oven for 20 minutes at approximately 90 degrees Celsius. Then the actual test. The helmet is engulfed in flames with a temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius for 10 seconds. The result? Excellent! The Draeger HPS 6200 helmet doesn't burn or glow for a single second after the flame engulfment and the inside of the helmet isn't damaged. Optimal protection, even at extreme temperatures. The Draeger HPS 6200 sets new standards. The firefighter helmet optimally protects its wearer from extreme heat, impact and the penetration of sharp objects. The technologies selected by Draeger combine the best possible protection with the highest quality standards and technical advances.